Thank you, Julian. Metahumans may only be a few years old, but we are seeing them everywhere, powering everything from games and AI agents to film, television, cultural heritage, and more. What you've seen so far is just the beginning. The creativity and innovation coming from the community continues to inspire us. It reminds us why we build these tools in the first place, to make it easier for everyone to tell stories that matter. Now we're entering the next chapter, expanding how you create and animate metahumans with flexible workflows that help you move faster and work smarter. To walk us through some of the biggest features in this release, please welcome filmmaker and virtual production pioneer, Matt Workman. Thanks, Chris. For those that don't know me, I'm a cinematographer and Unreal Engine developer. I worked on Epic's first in-camera VFX demo, the one with the motorcycle surrounded by LED walls. It was pretty cool. I'm also the creator of CineTracer, a previous tool used by filmmakers worldwide. I've been using MetaHumans in my work since the alpha, and recently I've gotten some hands-on time with some of the new features coming in Unreal Engine 5.6. MetaHuman Creator is a fast and intuitive web-based application used for creating digital characters. And now, with the 5.6 release, all of that power is available directly in the editor. That's right, MetaHuman Creator is now fully integrated into Unreal Engine. I think it's pretty cool, too. You can create and work with MetaHumans directly in your project, keeping everything connected and in context. And with the new character assemblies, metahumans are built locally, making it even easier to in integrate them directly into your pipeline. Metahuman Creator is one of Unreal's first cloud-enhanced tools. It means you work locally, but for heavy lifting, you know, tasks like generating high-quality textures or building our complex face and body rigs, we leverage metahuman cloud services, which deliver high-fidelity results without ever leaving the editor. And in 5.6, Local assembly reduces the average MetaHuman export time from 15 to 20 minutes down to two or three. The team tackled all this while dramatically expanding the core representation model and significantly improving visual fidelity. Basically, you can make even more diverse characters. They all look better. It's freaking fast, and it is in Unreal Editor on your local machine. And while those are all major improvements, we're just starting to scratch the surface here. MetaHumans have always had amazing facial customization, and now Epic is bringing that same level of control and realism to the entire body. In UE 5.6, MetaHumans get a major upgrade with the new parametric body system, letting you blend between different presets or fine-tune proportions using real-world measurements like height, inseam, shoulder width, and even muscle mass. And here's the best part. As the body changes, so does the clothing. The new Unreal Outfit asset automatically adapts garments to the character's body all in real time, no matter the proportions. As someone who's built these kind of assets before, I can tell you this used to mean manually creating and managing every body variation. The new system does give you the flexibility to create different sizes, and if you do, it will pick the closest match and fit that to the character for you. It makes building a wide array of production-ready characters faster and a whole lot more scalable. Yeah. I'm super excited to see what people do with the new outfit system. And that actually brings us to our next announcement. Starting today, MetaHumans and their accessories are available on Fab, Epic's one-stop shop for digital assets. This is the new MetaHuman channel on Fab, and there's already some great artists and studios sharing and selling content there. I'm going to shift gears for a minute. Matt, do you remember when we unveiled MetaHuman Animator a couple years ago? Of course. I consider myself MetaHuman's number one fan, and I'm also guilty for being eternally online. So of course, I saw that demo, and of course, absolutely loved it. Some of my industry friends, they, they thought it was sorcery. We went from capture to final results in a couple minutes, and it made high-quality facial animation accessible to everyone. Well, today, we are taking it to the next level with a focus on real-time animation. We scoured the galaxy to find the best talent to demo these tools, and I think Matt has found just the right character for the job. Now, I could be wrong, but I think I cooked here. This guy is a true professional, tons of experience, and he's even going to be joining us via live telecast from space, outer space. Let's go ahead and connect. <clears> hmm. <throat> 
<clears throat> hey, Blue! Dude, Matt! This is amazing! I'm making nachos in my nuclear-powered air fryer. Anyway, I was, I was about to munch on this before the keynote. What's up? What's up? Is that this is the keynote. We're, we're live streaming to Unreal Fest right now. Dude, you're live. Oh yeah, look at that. You people in your time zones. Hey, Chatterbox, can you turn it down? Like way, way down. I'm about to do a keynote. Yo, so what's up, Unreal friends? So get this, for the first time ever, you're seeing me live in real time. This isn't pre-recorded, it's not baked. You're seeing everything as it's happening. <laughs> and it's all thanks to MetaHuman Animator. Just check out my alter ego, Corey. He's down there on stage with you guys, and as you can see, our movements are mirrored within milliseconds. Even the smallest expressions are beautifully articulated. <laughs> ah, yeah. And look, he's not even wearing a helmet or a suit. I'm telling you, the possibilities are getting crazy. Now I can live chat with fans, take my stand-up back on the road, perform Macbeth. Okay, maybe not Macbeth. But the real truth is, the power of live performance is in all the happy accidents. Honestly, most of my best stuff happens when things go, you know, a little sideways. Nuclear core instability detected. Case in point, trusting my beautiful nachos to a DIY nuclear powered air fryer. <laughs> hey, Corey, come on out here. Corey Strasberger, Corey Strasberger, everyone, the genius behind Blue and Xanadu. MetaHuman Animator now delivers high fidelity facial animation from virtually any 2D video source in real time. Whether you're driving the performance of your favorite character or calling into keynotes from low Earth orbit, the sky is the limit when it comes to breathing life into your characters. And speaking of that, Corey was just driving Blue with a consumer webcam and markerless motion capture from the capture. Corey. Let me be the first to congratulate you on Blue's VTuber debut right here at Unreal Fest. And by that, I mean that this is the first time we're seeing MetaHuman Blue puppeted live, and he looked incredible on the big screen. And I know we've said this before a couple times, but I still can't believe that that level of facial quality is possible from a tiny consumer webcam. It's just absolutely crazy. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Matt. Uh, it is, man. It's all mind-blowing. And for me, doing everything sort of solo, being able to see my performance like instantly is literally at the core of my pipeline. So I've been waiting for this quality for a really long, long time. And Chris, the, thanks to an amazing collaboration with the MetaHuman team, Blue is finally, finally pure MetaHuman. And so with all the other crazy stuff that you guys are elevating, I think Xanadu is about to level up in a big, big way. So thank you guys, you guys rock. Awesome, man. It's been awesome. I'd like everyone to give a round of applause to Corey and Matt, and thanks for showing everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. The fan. <laughs>